Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle. Today we have a battle against Chris. And as you can see, he has a very powerful team there. Ended up bringing a couple of Ubers, which of course I normally don't face. But despite that, this ended up being a good match, so I decided to let it slide. Uh, so it should definitely make for a pretty tough test for me and my lower tier team here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, looking at the team preview, I really wasn't sure what he was going to want to lead with. Definitely has a few solid options there. Um, but he ends up leading with the Greninja, as I decided to lead with my Chinchino. So, turn one, he is going to go straight for a Water Shuriken. Not exactly sure why. I guess he just wanted to get some damage on me. So, um... He is going to hit that three time, which is going to uh, take me down by about a quarter of my health. Um, I'm going to hit him up with the U-turn in return, which does knock him into the red, but he does survive. Of course, I am going to get the mandatory switch, and off of that, I am going to come in with my Comfy. So, um, that is going to force him to switch. He doesn't want to lose his Greninja early here, so he is going to come in with the Charizard, probably predicting the fairy move, which I do go for the Draining Kiss. Uh, since it does have priority thanks to the triage ability. So uh, not going to do much of anything to the Charizard there. And uh, this turn I am forced to switch out. I don't really have any good moves for the Charizard. So I'm going to come in with my uh, Del Fox, good old David Copperfield, ready to make some magic happen. Um, as he does go for the Flare Blitz here, uh, which does knock me down to about half health with a critical hit, unfortunately. Um, he does take a little bit of damage from the recoil. And then this turn, I know I'm going to outspeed him. I am Choice Scarf, so I am going to go for the Psychic, hoping to take him out. Unfortunately, he does survive that in the red just barely, which does let him fire off an Earthquake in return, which is going to be more than enough to take out my Delphox, dropping me down to five Pokemon. So then I am going to come back in with the Comfy, and I am just going to go straight for the Draining Kiss, um, since it does have priority, and um, that should definitely be enough to finish off the Charizard, dropping him down to five Pokemon as well. So then he is going to come in with Zygarde. And uh, that is going to force me to switch. I don't want to take an attack from this thing. So I'm going to come in with my Delmize, predicting the ground move, uh, which he does go for the Thousand Arrows. So uh, not going to do too much damage to me there, which is good. And then I'm going to regain some health with the Leftovers. So... This turn, I am just going to go straight for an anchor shot, uh, trying to get damage on whatever he lift in. Uh, not sure if he was choice itemed or not. Um, he might have uh, wanted to switch there. I wasn't sure, so I decided to play it safe. Um, he's actually going to hit me with a dragon tail, revealing he's not choice item, which knocks me to a little above half, and I get uh, switched out uh, into my comfy. Uh, so I decided to stay in this turn and uh, go for a Draining Kiss just to see how much it would do. It actually knocks him down to about a quarter health, um, and he does go for the um, Dragon Tail, probably predicting another switch on my side. But um, unfortunately, he does have the Power Construct, which, uh, yes, I know is uh, Uber, but uh, unfortunately, uh, what are you going to do? Um, that is going to transform him into a Zygarde Complete Form, which does really suck for me. Um, so I am going to go for the switch this turn back into into my Delmize, predicting the uh, ground move, which he does go for the Thousand Arrows once again. And he actually knocks me down to a quarter health uh, with another critical hit, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, that means that I won't be able to survive another attack from this thing, uh, despite the leftovers recovery. So um, he is definitely going to outspeed me here. Goes for the Stone Edge, and he actually misses, which was pretty nice for me. Um, I actually just went for the knockoff there, uh, thinking I was going to die that turn, but um, I ended up surviving thanks to the miss, but um, not going to matter too much though since he is just going to go for the Stone Edge again this turn, which is going to be more than enough to finish me off and drop me down to four Pokemon. So then I am going to come back in with Comfy, and I am just going to go for the Draining Kiss here, uh, trying to get as much damage as possible, hoping to maybe take this thing out. But it does survive in the red as he does go for another Stone Edge, which is going to drop me down by about a third. And then I am going to uh, regain some health with the leftovers. So uh, I'm just going to go for one more draining kiss uh, this turn. And that should definitely be enough to finish off the Zygarde there as well as give me some health back. 
and uh, drop him down to four Pokemon. And then I am going to regain even more health with the leftovers, leaving me just under full. So then he is going to come in with Lycanroc. And um, I am going to switch out here. I don't want to take an attack from this thing. So I'm going to come in with my Omastar as he ends up going for the Fire Fang, actually. Um, so not going to do much of anything to me there. Um, he does get the burn, though, which does kind of suck. Um, and uh, that actually does activate my weak armor to uh, decrease my defense and increase my speed, uh, which was actually kind of what I wanted. Um, he is going to take some damage from the Rocky Helmet as I take some damage from the burn. Um, but unfortunately, this turn he is actually going to reveal that he is carrying the Z-move on the Lycanroc, um, which of course is going to turn out to be the uh, special Z-move for Lycanroc. And that is of course going to be the Splintered... Storm Shards. So, a uh, really cool move, uh, really powerful as well. So, um, I am hoping to survive this, um, since I am max physical defense here. Um, but, unfortunately, uh, he actually ends up getting yet another crit on me, uh, which does really suck. That is going to uh, definitely take out my Omastar and drop me down to three Pokemon. So, uh, then I am going to come back in with uh, Chinchino, and he does outspeed me here. He actually goes for a Fire Fang, um, and luckily for me, I do end up living that in the red with 29 health, and I am going to fire off a Bullet Seed in return. It is guaranteed to hit five times thanks to the Skill Link ability. And uh, on the fourth hit, that is going to be enough to take out the Lycan Rock and drop him down to three Pokemon as well, which was pretty nice. So, then he is going to come in with Low Punny. And uh, he is going to go straight for the Mega Evolution here into Mega Low Punny. And uh, he does end up outspeeding me. He goes for the uh, Jump Kick and he actually ends up missing, which was really nice for me. That is going to uh, make him uh, take half his health from uh, recoil damage, and uh, I'm going to go for the Tail Slap in return, which uh, on the third hit does take out the Low Punny, dropping him out to uh, two Pokemon, so that worked out really well for me. So uh, then he is going to come in with uh, Manaphy, again another Uber, but again, what are you going to do? So um, I, I'm definitely going to outspeed this thing. I'm going to go for the Bullet Seed here. I do have the King's Rock on here, um, so I'm hoping to get as much damage as possible and potentially a flinch. Um, it does have around a 50% uh, flinch rate. Uh, so he does just barely survive that in the red, um, and unfortunately I don't get the flinch there, so um, he is able to fire off an Ice Beam in return, which does finish off my Chinchino, dropping me down to two Pokemon. So... Then I am going to come in with my Hitmon Jackie Chan, and uh, he is going to outspeed me, definitely. He is going to go for an Ice Beam, but I am max special defense with an Assault Vest, so I can definitely uh, take those uh, all day. I am going to go for a Drain Punch in return. I end up getting a crit there, which didn't matter at all. Um, so that is going to give me a little HP back and finish off the Manaphy, dropping him down to just one Pokemon. So finally, he does come back in with Greninja. And he is definitely going to outspeed me and go for an extra sensory here. Um, but again, being max special defense with an assault vest, I can take those all day. Leaves me a little above half health, and I am just going to fire off one more drain punch in return, um, which is going to give me some HP back and finish off the Greninja. And that is game. So I won that one. 2-0 against Chris, but that was a really good match. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.